First, though, this noontime breaking news we're tracking on a decades old missing child case. Two children have been found now in their 30s after they were abducted back in 1985. Rhode Island State Police making that announcement just half an hour ago, along with announcing an arrest in this case. I want to see reporter Steve Nielsen working the story live in situ at State Police headquarters. A 30 year old cold case finally comes to an end. That's the big headline today. Kelly and Kimberly Yates went missing and they were found in the Houston area area just this month after more than 31 years of being gone just babies when they originally uh, fled with Elaine Yates their uh, their mother that's what state police tell us today the girl's father filed for custody they got it and Kelly and Kimberly have been missing ever since and the case has been cold what you're looking at right now age enhanced photographs of their baby pictures taken to what they would look like today and state police authorities say this is nearly identical to what Kelly and Kimberly do look like about two days ago or excuse me two days before Christmas state police got a tip saying they were in the Houston area and Houston police worked with local th authorities to track them down through Facebook and some other tools state police would not say much of anything about Yates over the last 31 years but that they all lived under new names all three still live in the Houston area it's unclear if the girls even knew their real identity authorities say officials knocked on Elaine Yates door yesterday told her they knew and arrested her she'll be arraigned on child snatch charges tomorrow in the Rhode Island area and they say constant work over the last 31 years finally led to this arrest. As a result of this department's accreditation standards, we conduct annual reviews of cold cases which allows for us to continuously update and review previous cases using updated technology. This updated technology greatly assisted in locating the Yates family. Now, police say when they found Kelly and Kimberly, they informed them of, of all of the details of their investigation. Again, unclear if they knew all of the details around their original identities, but they say they were given their father's contact info. He still lives in the Rhode Island area. He was not given their contact info. It's unclear if they'll contact him. Reporting live, I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.